Let's take a look at the Design and Drift Speedway. It's from Mattel for the Cars Micro Drifters. And looking at the box, it's smaller than the Micro Drifters playset, the Motorized Super Speedway. Even though the box is smaller, I think it's going to be taking up a lot more room than the other playset. You see that fellow right there playing with it. It looks like it's going to spread out. It's going to take up quite a bit of my room on the table. Uh, it says the uh, multiple track design, 7 feet of track. And even though they show lots of cars on the track, there's only uh, McQueen right here. Sleeping in the corner. Only McQueen with this one. Now let's, let's see, nine cars, so it looks like you got a starting gate for nine of the Micro Drifters cars. Let's take a look at the back here. We got uh, seven feet of track as indicated. Let's see what else do they have here. Yeah, same thing, launch line cars, got a little starting gate. You can swarm, slide, and spin. Looks like it's going to be fun like the other set. And the winner's going to trigger the checkered flag. Could be interesting. Uh, I'm a fan of gravity sets because they don't require batteries. I don't think this one's going to require batteries. But uh, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. This set's available in the USA for about, about $20. Let's go ahead and get it put together. As indicated on the box, we can make multiple layouts. There's also a sticker sheet for us to decorate and make it all fancy. The stickers are for the set. Thankfully, the uh, McQueen, the Micro Drifters, actually don't use stickers. So this way we don't have to worry about any stickers coming off our cars. Got my stickers all in place. This track set comes with special connectors. If you notice, there's an arrow right here. You want your race to be going downhill like the arrow shows. You want it to be going that way. So this way your car comes by, goes this way. And let me show you why. If you notice, this side is skinny right here. And this side is just a little bit wider. So this way when your car comes down the track, he'll be coming like this. He'll have a smooth transition. If you use it backwards like this, there's going to be a lip, and your cars are going to hit that lip and uh, cause them to bounce around, which is actually kind of the fun. But anyways, make sure you have that arrow going downhill. Amanda's going to help me out with the starting gate. Look at her panda. He's sad. He wishes he was colorful. He's just black and white. She's going to help me put the cars on the track. She's also going to show the camera right here. The uh, the track comes with a little attachment, and it's for the side of the track. See the camera? You can pretend like you're filming the race. The reason for this thing to attach to the track is because when your cars go into the curves here, the cars that are on the outside lane are going to get a nice smooth curve. Well, the ones that are going to be coming down this lane are going to come there, boom, straight into a flat wall. And so uh, I think that's why they use this to bump the cars off of here and try to get them over in this so this way they come around into a spin and then blah, 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 they'll just be crashing down the track let me show you the finish line real quick you got a flag it's got a trigger switch we're gonna put the switch over here and the first car that comes right here gets to uh, make this come across so the winner should come here Everybody else comes here around the outside and they'll all line up over here. Amanda suggested we start with only three cars. Sound like a good idea? Here we go. Winner! Here we go. Six cars. On your mark. Get set. Go! Jeff Corvette takes the checker flag. Hey, don't be picky. We got racing to do. Nine cars on your mark. Get set. Go. Uh, Dad forgot to switch the gate. I'm sure you guys already noticed that there's two of these uh, camera stands for the track. You can put them wherever you want. Here we go. Nine cars. On your mark. Get set. Go.
Shiny Gold McQueen takes the checkered flag. Set. Go. I'm sure you're counting. And it doesn't look like nine cars at the finish line. If you notice, sometimes it gets sh stuck on the track. Man, that's good. going to give him a little help right here. I don't know, maybe you can make the start of the track taller. Maybe they'll get more speed so they're less likely to get stuck. This time I'm just going to stay in place and we're going to see how that uh, camera actually changes the action. Amanda's going to go ahead and go and we're just going to stay right here. If you notice, they all went around the outside lane there, so that bumper works pretty good. Let's go ahead and take the bumper off and see what happens. Okay, let's remove it from the track, and then we're going to send the nine cars straight down, and let's see how the cars do on the inside lane. Did you notice that? They just kind of came down and then plow like a big old traffic jam. Uh, let's see. Let's do that again. So Amanda, I'll be doing slow mo. But uh, from your perspective, what did you think happened with that race? I think they all end up stopping right here, and then right here they just stop. And then they go. Is that what it looked like to you? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. It was kind of like a big old thunk. Let's get that diverter back on. Go! Big difference, eh? And someone has a problem for getting to put this thing on every time. Yes. Mater wins! Yes, someone, not me. Okay, me. This will be our last test with this layout with nine cars. What we decided to do is put the camera down here and see how much that changes the action. It's nice that you can move them around and just decide where you want to put them. Hey, red, white, and blue wins. Get out of here, buddy. Hey, hey, there's only room for one. Get out of here. So I went ahead and made a different layout. Here we have just the U-turn or hairpin turn where they're going to come down and go back. It has an instruction manual for you to use that diagram. There will be some parts that you won't need. Let's go ahead and try nine cars. On your mark. Get set. Go. We're going to give them the squeeze. I got one camera to show them coming, one camera to watch them going. Nine cars. Sit. Go. Well, maybe too much of a squeeze. Let's adjust that a little bit. I put on two blockers this time. Make a little pinball action. Make them go bouncing around. When Amanda's ready, she'll go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Who is that? Who did it that time? That time it was me. Okay. That's one. But that's one. One thing you're going to notice with the set is that it is kind of a weebly wobbly. It just wiggle it around a little bit. You have to get it set up just right. Let's go ahead. Nine cars. Who won? The, this guy. Yeah, I forget his name too. <laughs> the micro drifters, little cars, and the play sets. You know what? It's just about having fun. Is it really like racing? Man, they just kind of slide around. You know what? Have fun! Play with your toys! Bye-bye!